Well, welcome everybody to a part of the world where football really matters. There is a healthy tension, great expectation building in the lead up to kickoff here. A little bit grey overhead, and indeed the forecast is for a drop or two of rain as the day grows older. But regardless of that, there is a lovely backdrop here. The ambience is good, smashing noise from both sets of supporters and expectations high in both camps. One glance and you know where we are. It is one of the most recognisable arenas for the beautiful game in the world. And boy, does it add to the occasion. Locomotive Moscow have gone with a 4-5-1, Jim. Well, if you want to secure a clean sheet, Peter, this is a very good way of going about it. It adds discipline and lends a stubbornness to that midfield, which can stifle opposition attempts to, to play through. And it takes a lot of pressure off your defence, of course, forces longer passes through the aerial route. So all things considered, that extra layer across midfield is highly, highly effective. And that gets things running. Krikoviak. Goes for goal! Gets good distance on it. Battles to win it back. Good challenge. He just stood firm. Rakitsky. Lovren. Tries to get it forward quickly. He's gone for it! Hits off target and by quite a way. A uh, poorly directed kick from the keeper, he's given it away. Has a hit! He could be in, tries a shot! Goal! Zenit St. Petersburg! I can give the keeper a little sympathy here because I think he might have been slightly unsighted. However, credit where it's due, it's still a fine finish from a tight spot. The goal scorer for Zenit St. Petersburg. After 13 minutes, is number 22, Juba. Zenit St. Petersburg, grab an early lead, good start. And it's got through. Goes for it! Sticks it away! Uh, it's a keeper's nightmare, Peter. He just couldn't pick up on it until it was way too late, having so many bodies in front of him. The goal scorer after 17 minutes is number 25. 
Locomotive Moscow grabbed the equaliser and we're all square. Well, they just couldn't have responded any better, Peter. Yeah, there's the old cliche about how teams can lose focus after scoring, but you still have to take your chances. Brilliant. Pings it out wide. Did really well to intervene and dispel the growing danger. So midway through the first half and it is a tight old tie. Gets on the end of it, has a pop! It's a loose ball. Just brushed off the ball there. Has he picked him out? And now the breakaway. Rakitsky just did a brilliant job there. It was one of those all-or-nothing commitments, and he came up trumps. And it's played forward. Juba gets his foot in there. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Defenders on the back foot. Smolov. Ball through needs to be good here. Oh, he's got a crucial block in there. Pinged forward. And we've reached half-time. So, a very watchable game so far. Action at both ends and the team's level. Any opinion you'd like to express on the first half? Yeah, I think they'll be happy with that. There's the whistle then to start the second half. Zenit St. Petersburg playing well with lots of opportunities and plenty positives to take from the first half. Despite this scoreline, converting chances would make a world of difference for them. Oh, he's not played the ball, that's a foul. Rakitsky. Juba. A hefty challenge, but fair enough. It's a busy front line, uh, lots of movement. And is that working for you? Well, not really. To be honest, I I'm not a great fan of taking goal potential away from the penalty box. Locomotive Moscow making a fresh attempt to release someone in behind from back to front. And this is something different. Gets it back. Krikoviak. The attendance for this match was 71,649. He ran himself into trouble there. Free kick given away. Well, he can't say now that he hasn't been warned. Well, I think the referee would have told him to raid it in or, or suffer the consequences. And the shot! Yeah, just thinking about the goalkeeper again, he really had to be at his best, didn't he?
Asmoon. And he's going long. He's got options out wide. Well, the crowd clearly like what they just saw. Some real no-nonsense defending. Asmoon. He's picked him out. Oh, well defended. That had to be done. No messing about. Just bludgeoned away. Asmoon, shot at goal! Goal! Zenit St. Petersburg! And they get themselves in front! Well, I think there's a few trying to claim offside, but he looks to have been on. Yeah, he was on. The goal score for Zenit St. Petersburg. We have got changes here from both sides, in fact. So we have a breakthrough. Now, how will things develop from here? Coming on the field is number 76. Krikoviak. Yeah, it's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. Locomotive Moscow are definitely not going down without a scrap. Their attitude just can't be faulted. And he's there to cut it out. It's out of play, and it is a goal kick. Locomotive Moscow making another change here. Well, with the introduction of such a tall lad now, we may well see uh, a more predictable, lofty route forward, but it's still very hard to deal with that, you know, if they, if they can affect it right. Incoming cross. Ball's loose. Who's getting there? Zenit St. Petersburg are looking to make this one safe. They want to reduce the risk. And helps available out wide. Well, Red, he sorted that out. Look, with time running out, they have to get the ball in the penalty box, and if it means a long punt, then so be it. They've got to give themselves a chance. And it's Krikoviak. He's got options out wide. Oh, well played. He's taken that really cleanly. Asmun, who has... And time is up. Well, whatever the shortcomings on either side, it was a great game to watch. Just one between them. How would you summarise what we've seen today then, Jim? I think it's all about setting the right tone at the start of a match. And if you can... Back...